Hey guys, how's it going? I'm pretty excited to uh, show you a new product that I've been working on for a while. This is the Current Ranger. It's a precision ultra low burden voltage current meter that can measure from nanoamps to milliamps. It's a fully digitally controlled unit and the best part is that it can auto range. And that was my main goal when I started designing this device. It's uh, powered by a standard lithium polymer battery, which gives it a maximum measurement range of uh, 3,300 millivolts for each one of the ranges. So the maximum load that you can measure in the milliamp range would be 3.3 amps. The current ranger comes with different uh, input and output connection types, including uh, support for these gold uh, banana jack and low profile banana jack terminals. Um, and also you can mount screw terminals uh, right there. And this is actually my favorite type of terminal. This is a thumb press terminal, which I like to use on the input uh, because it's very easy to attach uh, wires and pins and uh, have them very securely tighten up without uh, the risk of them snapping off. And uh, that will be the case when you use uh, wires or pins with these uh, banana jack terminals where repeated use can wear off wires and uh, make them break or they can even snap off easily if they're not secured very tightly. You can even uh, solder individual pins to these pinholes right here, uh, both on the input and the output, and you can use those with these uh, types of uh, uh, hook clips. And on the output, you also have a dedicated uh, probing point for uh, an oscilloscope probe, and that's been put there so that you can make very low um, noise measurements with your oscilloscope. Uh, if you use your oscilloscope probe with that uh, grounding clip, that tends to pick up a lot of noise and that's especially visible in the very sensitive nanoamp range. To turn on the current ranger, just tap on this button once and to turn it off, press and hold that button for two seconds. The current ranger also has an auto power off feature where if none of the range pads are touched for 10 minutes, it will uh, sound an alarm on this buzzer which you can install right here and then it turns off the unit to save your battery. When it powers up it goes into manual ranging and you can start using the pads to switch from any range to any other range so you can even switch from NA to MA without going through the microamp range. You can use touchpad combinations to turn on the various features of the current ranger such as the low pass filter or bias mode. Uh, you can enable the low-pass filter by touching these two pads and then the low-pass filter comes on and if you were to probe this with an oscilloscope you would get a nice smooth trace. For bias mode, uh, if you want to have bidirectional measurements for AC currents, uh, you can touch these two pads and then bias mode will come on and your range will be split in half so the positive uh, output can swing both positively and negatively below this uh, negative output. To go into auto ranging mode you need to touch these two pads and then current ranger will start auto ranging. Note that in this mode you can no longer manually range and if you wanted to go back to manual mode you would need to touch those two pads again and then you are back in manual mode. All these settings, delays and touch combinations and any other behavior can be changed or removed in the firmware code that's available for you to experiment with and tweak in any way you want. The current ranger can also be reprogrammed with a default firmware or a custom firmware of your own if you want to do some experiments. And to do that you just attach the USB, turn the unit on, go to the Arduino IDE, pick your serial port for the current ranger that shows up, click upload, that's going to restart the unit upload the new firmware. As soon as that's done you should disconnect the USB because there's an ADC calibration that takes a couple seconds and nothing should be connected to the input, output or even the USB port to ensure accurate calibration of the ADC. And then once that's done you can start using the meter. The current ranger has the option to attach a small OLED display uh, on this header right here. The most commonly available uh, OLED displays are these uh, 128 by 64 pixel uh, OLEDs. Um, there are smaller versions of this. The most important thing is to get them uh, in the right pin order. So it's ground, VCC, SCL, SDA. 
So uh, if you plug that in here, upon power up, the current ranger will uh, query the screen uh, or the I square C bus for the screen's address, and if it finds it, then it starts uh, sampling the output and displaying readings uh, on that OLED. So let's try to uh, get some readings here. So if I attach a load and I enable auto ranging, we can see the uh, microcontroller starting up and then uh, switching between a sleep mode where it uses about 8.89 microamps uh, and then wakes up to the milliamp range where it uses about 14.5 uh, uh, milliamps. The current Ranger's 12-bit uh, ADC is not going to get uh, readings as accurate as uh, you can get through uh, the output with the digital multimeter, but uh, for situations where you don't have a multimeter or just want to have an idea of what your load is doing, uh, the OLED uh, readings are perfectly usable. Another optional header that you have on the current Ranger is this 4-pin header where you can attach uh, Bluetooth serial modules for data logging. Uh, you could technically data log through the USB port, but since most power supplies have switching noise and they pick up all kinds of noise from the mains, um, your output is not going to be so clean, so not very usable. Uh, but if you want cleaner, smoother uh, data logging from the current Ranger, uh, you would need to use a Bluetooth module that doesn't um, get affected by any kind of um, wiring, switching noise from an external power supply. So uh, I designed this header to match the pin order of this HCO6 Bluetooth serial module. Uh, because this is a very well supported, commonly available module that can uh, uh, have a data rate up to 2 megabit per second, I, I believe. Here's an example measurement with the current Ranger. At the input, we have a Motino M0 microcontroller that's powered by a LiPo battery, which goes through the inputs of the current Ranger. Uh, the micro sleeps in a low power mode that uses only about 9 microamps and periodically wakes up, turns on two LEDs for a brief moment, and then it goes back to sleep. Uh, the current ranger is in manual mode, and we're in milliamps range, and when the micro wakes, uh, we can read about 14.5 milliamps, um, and then when it goes back to sleep, we're reading zero simply because the power consumption is in the microamp range. Now to see that actively ranging, we need to turn on auto ranging and we're going to do that by tapping MA and NA pads and the meter is going to automatically start ranging and we can now see that when it's sleeping it's in the microamp range and we're reading about uh, 9 microamps and then when it wakes up it automatically ranges to milliamps range where the reading is back to 14.5 milliamps. To see this auto ranging behavior on an oscilloscope, I have a scope probe attached at the output. And before I look at the scope, I want to remove the DMM probe because that couples a bunch of noise that's being picked up from the environment. And we can now take a look at that trace on the scope and we can see the auto ranging when it switches ranges. Well, I hope you find the current ranger interesting and useful. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or if you end up customizing it and changing the code to do some interesting experiments, I'd like to know about it. So please leave a comment below, or you can also use the Low Power Lab contact page. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.